welcome back to my channel mostly programming my name is vivek and today is the very first episode of let's code tuesday and today we are going to learn what is a seven segment led display what are its different types how does it work and how can we interface one with an arduino board so without any further ado let's get started with today's video announcement a blog is live so you can find all the necessary documentation for each video on the blog itself it is mostly programming.blogspot.com so you can find all the arduino codes all the circuit diagrams and all the necessary links on the blog itself please check it out so let's get started so we have been interfacing lcd display with almost over all arduino and embedded system projects but we all know that lcd display is a little costlier and it is not always necessary to use an lcd display when our application requires only printing some numbers yes for many arduino and embedded system applications if our aim is to just display the numbers then we must use a seven segment led display now what is a seven segment led display here what you can see in the figure one this is basically a seven segment led display it has 10 pins you can even see the uh, side view of this led display right so basically seven leds are placed in the form of an eight in this display therefore it is called a seven segment display this display point over here decimal point is a different thing i'm going to tell you about it a little later in the video so there are two types of led displays number one common cathode number two common anode you can see that here as well the structure of both the leds is same the only difference is in the polarity of leds and the common terminal in led displays so as you can guess from the name in the common cathode displays these are the one which we generally use so in the common cathode displays the cathode of all the seven or eight including the decimal point all the seven leds and the decimal point are made common and connected to pin 3 and pin 8 of the led display so we can see from the internal structure here so basically there are eight leds this is the this triangular shape is the positive one and this line is the negative so we have connected all the cathodes of all the eight leds and made a common terminal out of it so that's why this particular led display is called common cathode seven segment led display and what is common anode display it is the complete opposite of common cathode here we have connected all the anodes that that means all the positive terminals of the leds all together into a one common terminal and all the cathodes are separate right a b c d e f g and dp which is decimal point so that was all about what a seven segment led display is and what are its different types a major thing that is left is how can a seven segment or seven leds display the numbers so for that we will refer to this figure so see when we have placed it like a eight so we can form zero to nine all the numbers on it and a b c d e f that means we can uh, use a seven segment led display for representing the hexadecimal numbers and what do I mean by what do I mean by hexadecimal numbers is a b c d e f and 0 to 9 so how can we form that suppose that this g led is not here this g led is not here what shape it is 0 right and if the b, b and c are on all other leds are off then what shape it is 1 similarly we can form all the 0 to 9 and a to f digits on this seven segment led so it is always advisable to use a seven segment led in our embedded and arduino projects when we are uh, when our aim is to just print out the numbers 
For example, we have used, we will use it in a score monitor where we are just monitoring the score or we are inputting some numbers using push buttons or any uh, example like that. You can consider any project like that. So now I'm going to show you a table where we will see how we can print 0 to F using these seven segment displays. So if we want to print 0, as I told you earlier, we are just going to off the G LED and let all the other LEDs glow. So what we are going to do is we are going to high pulse means digitally write. We are going to digitally write high to all the other LEDs except for the G LED. The display point I have kept off. You can either keep it on or off as per your requirement. The display point comes into action or comes into play when we are using more number of uh, comes into play when we are using more number of seven segment displays. For example, we are using a four digit seven segment display or if we are interfacing multiple single digit seven segment displays all together, then only the decimal point comes into action. So I have kept it off for this particular example. You can keep it on or off as per your requirement. So what I have done here is for digit zero, I have made G off and DP off, all other are on. Similarly, for one BC are on, all other are off. For two, uh, see how we will make two. We will on A, B, G, E, D, we will keep C and F off. Let's see from the table now. See, C is off and F is off, right? And DP is off, obviously. So like that, we can make all the zero to nine digits and how to like display a b c and all that so you can see over here e f a b c g when these all leds are turned on together this will make an a for b we have to make f g e c d this this whole right similarly c then we can make d like that b g e d c and similarly e and f right so we can display all the hexadecimal numbers on a seven segment display. So you can refer to this table if you have any like doubt or you can even you can take a pen or paper and draw it for yourself. You can simply make the shapes out of the eight, right? That's pretty simple, I guess. You can even see this particular picture. You can make all the A to F and zero to nine from here, right? You can do that on your own. So what is the experiment number one? What is the project number one that we are going to do today in today's video is that we are going to simply turn on and off the LEDs to get familiar with the working of a seven segment display. We are not going to print any numbers today. We are just going to see how a seven segment LED display works. So we are just going to print zero to eight, uh, seven all the uh, LEDs on. We are just going to turn them on and off. We are just going to do that in a loop. So what are the components required? So we need an Arduino board. I'm using Uno, you can use Mega, Nano, whatever board you want. We need a seven segment LED display. We are using common cathode here. You can even use common anode. What will be the difference? Uh, where we are writing on here, you will have to write off. And where we are writing off, we will have to write on. Right? And you have to give the common anode terminal that means that this terminal here we are giving ground in common cathode in common anode you will have to give it plus VCC that means plus 5 volt. This table is for common cathode only. So we need Arduino board 7 segment display 220 ohm resistors 7 resistors we are going to use I am not going to uh, turn on and off that display point decimal point. So we need jumper wires and a breadboard. So you can see the pin diagram of seven segment LED display over here. So we are going to consider the where the decimal point is that side is the lower side and from there the numbering starts from the left to right one two three four five then up six seven eight nine ten. So the numbering of the LEDs uh, naming of the LEDs is done here. Seven is A six is B then four is C like similarly d is 2 e is 1 
S is 9, G is 10 and 3 and 8 as I told you earlier are common pins. For this case we are going to ground them. If we are using a common anode display then we are going to use, uh, we are going to interface them, connect them to plus 5 volt supply. I already explained you the connections. We are going to do, what we are going to do is pin 3 and 8, pin 3 and 8, hold on a second. So we are going to connect the pin 3 and 8 to ground and all the other terminals through a 220 ohm resistor to the digital pins. So we have connected A, B, C, D, E, F, G to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 respectively. That means we have connected A to 2, B to 3, C to 4 in that order. Now the major question that arises here is why we are using or why we are uh, connecting these through 220 ohm resistors. See, similarly we connect our, 220, uh, our simple LEDs through 220 ohm resistors. Here also we will have to connect through 220 ohm resistor. If you are not going to use these resistors, you are going to end up frying your it's a 7 segment LED display. So I suggest you to please uh, connect them through 220 ohm resistors only. Here, I have already coded the program here. I'm just going to show you the simulation and then we'll explain you the program. Start the simulation. So see, that's what we are going to do today in today's experiment number one for LED, seven segment LED display. We are just going to turn A, B, C, D, E, F, G on. Then in the same order, we are going to turn them off one by one. So let's see the code. The code is pretty easy. So let's go to Arduino and let's see the code. Let me just hold on a second. Yeah. So what we have done here is I have given, I have defined all the variables. First, I have init uh, initialized the variable A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and G is equal to 8. That means I'm connecting A to pin 2, B to 3, C to 4, G to 8. Then I have defined the pin modes A, B, C, D all as outputs because we want to turn the LED on and off. We want them to give an output either high or low. So we are defining them as output. Then what we are doing in the loop is void loop section is we are using a for loop here. We are starting from 2 that means pin number 2 until pin number 9 less than 9 means until 8 and i plus plus. What we are doing is we are digitally writing to every pin high and giving it a delay for half second. Then similarly what we are doing is we are initiating from pin number 2 till 9 and we are then writing low to each of the pin and giving it a half second delay and giving all this a one second delay. Right. So let's upload the program now. Uh, so the program is now successfully uploaded and you can see the output on the screen. Uh, I hope you understood what a seven segment LED display is, how it works and how we can light up all the different LEDs and and I believe that you must have understood how we can print different numbers using the seven segment LED display. So in the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to print different numbers over the display. We are going to print 0 to F on the display. So uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you have any queries, comment down below and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.